Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kei. So uh, in this video, I would like to talk about the importance of backtesting. Uh, I was going to th talk about uh, the analysis of the markets, uh, but it uh, looks like all other markets are ranging, retracing, especially JPI pairs were trending up until last week, but this week it's retracing backwards. And uh, usually in this kind of cases, I don't trade uh, because I'm a, I'm a trend follower. And if I don't see any trends in higher time frames, either a daily chart or the flower chart, then simply I stay away. So uh, instead of talking about the markets, uh, I thought this is good timing to talk about the importance of backtesting and also uh, how I backtest by using the Forex Tester 5. So that will be the topic for today. And I will actually show you uh, one of the example of uh, one of my GTS members. Uh, who did the back testing by using the tester and I can share also share the result over time so let's get started now let me change the screen okay and before starting here as usual a quick disclaimer is that uh, this video is all for educational purposes only so when you trade please do at your own risk and also, since uh, this is a video, but if you can please follow the guide and rules and the comment, that will be great. Because after all, we're all here to learn. And finally, quickly, um, I don't have any Telegram, I don't do Instagram, Facebook, and I never send direct messages on SNS. So if in case if you receive any messages from me, those are fake. So just be careful because uh, there are so, so many scams and fakes and spams out there. So, um, yeah, speaking about the importance of um, the back testing, um, I'm not sure if you do the back testing or not, or if you have done back testing before or not. But uh, for myself, um, the last uh, nine years, I was trading full time, almost nine years now, time flies. But uh, for the first two years, was losing. So, um, when I was losing, um, I realized myself that I didn't have enough time to practice. So um, I bought the software called uh, Forex Tester. At that time, it wasn't the 5 version, but uh, now it's called Forex Tester 5. But I was I purchased the Forex Tester and started the back tests gradually. I didn't do the Forex Tester uh, from the beginning uh, of my trading career, but um, as I start to lose, I knew about the Forex tester somewhere in the internet and I purchased it and I started to backtest and practice on my own. And it was fun. I found a fun, uh, I find it's fun to backtest myself uh, because I can forward the chart, I can backward forward the chart and uh, I can simply trade, exit, trade and exit, uh, you know, many times in a short time period, like one hour or two hours. And that was my self-training. So let's say when the market is ranging like today, or uh, when the market is uh, not open, uh, like over the weekend in Forex pairs or any other uh, markets, except for cryptos, uh, you know, they are usually, you know, uh, closed on a uh, weekend. And in these uh, timings, I run the tester and practice my own. So that when, let's say in next week, when I see the, opportunity then uh, I can trade based on my confidence over my backtesting so I used to do backtesting for uh, many many times like uh, my so my set of backtesting is 100 if I do 100 backtesting then that's an overall result and if the result is positive and if the result is uh, result meets my uh, expectation then I can practice on the real market. So, um, but yeah, Forex tester and back testing saved a lot of time for me because uh, let's say market's quiet today and you don't trade, but uh, in the tester, you can trade maybe 20, 30 times, maybe 40 times, 50 times, you can trade. So uh, it's very time, time efficient. And uh, if you haven't done it, uh, I recommend you to do so. There's a link on the below description for the Forex tester, so uh, you can click the link and get the coupon code 5% discount on the sale, and um, you can start to practice. 
But um, let me show you one of the, uh, the results of the GTS members, the former GTS members, which was in January until March. So, um, so here is the result. Hold on, let me... So hold on, let me get it ready quickly. Hold on. So yeah, back testing is very important. Like uh, whenever I back test, I start from scratch. So I select the date and time on one specific uh, pair and start the back test. And uh, if I, you know, if I won't be back testing, then uh, I won't be able to, you know, you know, be confident on my trace. So in that sense, the back testing is very, very important. But uh, hold on, let me look for the uh, the. Uh, sorry, I thought I saved here somewhere, but I don't find it. Hold on, miss. Oh, there you go. So here is the result of um, from one of the GTS members. If you can see, so this spreadsheet I give to. Uh, all the GTS members, and this is for the trading purpose. So unfortunately, this is this spreadsheet is not open in public. But uh, as you can see, he, he's done he's done back testing based on my strategy, specifically on this uh, on this AUD USD. So he took uh, I think on this one he took uh, 40 50 trades. Hold on, he did. So here is another continuation of uh, the trades of him. So uh, yeah, let's see. He did uh, 50 trades. He did the 50 trades, 50 positions total. So technically, um, it's 25 trades. But uh, as per my strategy, uh, you know, uh, we take two positions at one trade. So uh, technically, it's 25 trades with uh, you know 50 positions uh, over uh, on this uh, AUD USD. So, but technically, yeah. So 50 trades. Okay. So uh, technically, here um, you can see the testing result. So the result you wanna watch after back testing is uh, this one: profit factor and max drawdown per trade. And also win rate. But win rate is uh, my low priority. I don't really care about the win rate, but I care very much about the profit factor and max drawdown per trade. So hold on, let me enlarge. If you're watching from mobile, maybe this is too small. So here we go. So this profit factor means this is average risk and reward ratio in terms of profit. So let's say your profit is um, $200 and your losses are $100 in average, then PF will be 2. If that's break even, then PF will be 1. So um, the goal for the profit factor for back testing is 3 to 5. Uh, if you can achieve 5 or more, then uh, I would say you're safe enough to trade on the real market. But if it's still below 5, then um, there might be some improvements, the area for the improvements in terms of risk management or exit timing or entry timings. So PF 3.68 is not really bad because every time, this means that every time he trades, uh, he will be getting 3.68 uh, times more than the losses in average on, you know, as long as he takes trades with this strategy. So that means he won't lose in this uh, in this number, and that's a proof. So as he continues trace, maybe to 50 and 100 trace, then make sure that he maintains this number, or you know, aim for higher, up to five profit factor, and that will be a great, great achievement. And then you can be confident on your uh, real, real uh, trades, real moving market trades. So PF is important. Uh, so uh, as you join, and as you join my live streams, and if you have seen my pairs here, from top Euro USD all the way down to Swiss Run JPY, these are the pairs that I tested in back testing, 
and I proved that out of 100 trades, I achieved up to 5, more than 5 PF profit factor. And that's why they are here. Otherwise, I won't be selecting these pairs. And uh, I don't trade New Zealand pairs, as you may know. And that is because spread is higher in the broker, but also I didn't so do well in my backtesting with my strategy. My PF wasn't 5 or above in New Zealand pairs, and that's why I don't have them in this watch list. So it helps you to select which pair to trade, which pair not to trade based on your strategy by backtesting. So in that sense, this is very important. You have to, you have to see the result uh, in numbers to be able to confident on which one to trade, which one not to trade. So PF is important and max drawdown is also very important for me. This is max drawdown per trade, not the whole drawdown, but maximum drawdown per trade. And this should be 1% or less than 1% is ideal. Because, um, so that uh, every time you enter and exit, your maximum drawdown per risk should be 1% on your account. So, but because uh, if this drawdown is more than 1%, maybe 2%, 5%, or maybe even 10% drawdown, max drawdown, then these drawdowns were too huge that you cannot cover these drawdowns on future profits. It becomes more difficult to cover these, uh, you know, big drawdowns. So drawdown, if you can keep it below 1% or at the 1% like this, that will be great. And also uh, win rate. In terms of win rate, I don't really care because uh, my win rate in average is between 20 to 40%. So 42% win rate is already very good. So uh, in he, here's the result. I, I hide his name uh, based on his uh, privacy information. But uh, he's got, he started deposit uh, 50k, 50,000, and eventually he turned it to uh, 90,000. So this is about like 80%, uh, 80% plus, right, out of uh, you know, 50 trades. So in terms of result, this is amazing result. He's got the return. Uh, but uh, whenever you also backtest, how much you get returned is not really important, actually. It's not really important. But what's more important is how you grow this account in over time. Uh, because uh, let's say if you took, for example, one trade only and he turned 50k to 90k, then um, that's a good trade. He's got so much profit on one single trade. But um, the question is, if you can keep trading that way and if you can expect similar or same uh, profits over time. So, but if he, can, if he cannot prove it, that uh, if he takes trades over time and can expect uh, same result over time, if he can't um, expect that, then um, that's not a good strategy. That's more like gambling. So. In one trade, he may gain uh, like a 40k, but on the next one, he may lose an another 40k, and on the next next trade, he will he might get uh, like a, you know more losses, and that will be overtime loss. So that's why every time, personally, I backtest or uh, you know whoever backtests, I recommend you to at least do 50 number of trades, or ideally 100 trades, to see the result over time. And as you gradually trade, then you get the graph like this. And you can actually, uh, you know, make a graph on your own, on the spreadsheet like this. But uh, if you can uh, get this graph, uh, this is also what I tell to the GCS members, is that the graph should be on the bullish in the wave. So what bullish in the wave means that, let's say the market goes up here. And along the way, you might have some drawdowns, small drawdowns on break-even trades. But the future profit, this part, the future profit can cover, uh, should be be able to cover the previous small losses, so that uh, it actually breaks resistance of the uh, previous uh, drawdown, and then uh, it makes profit. And after uh, he makes profit, along the way, you might have some other uh, break-even trades and drawdowns along the way. But if you can keep the drawdowns very small less than 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%,
per uh, max drawdown per trade, then future profit can cover these small previous losses. So like this, as you keep trading in this manner, then your graph should be bullish in a wave. But if let's say after a couple number of trades and if your graph is like up and down like this on the Y wave or P wave, then uh, it's not really a ideal strategy. It's not a stable strategy to make profits over time. So yeah, this is ideal. Whenever I backtest, I look for uh, or I will be looking forward to this N wave uh, out of 100 trades. So here too, uh, he took the trades gradually, had some drawdowns, but the future profit covers the previous small losses. And then after that, uh, some uh, break-even trades, small losses, but one profit and cover these previous small losses. And my strategy is Ichimoku, Kin Kohyo with multiple time frames and get the entries and the lower time frame is really built in this kind of strategy. And that's why the graph looks like this. So this uh, GTS member, uh, you know, truly applied my strategy and did backtesting on one currency pair, which is only AUDUSD. He picked only this pair and uh, he got a nice profit over time. Uh, you know, we can actually see these, uh, the result, overall result from him like this. So um, whenever you create uh, your strategy, if you can have this, uh, you know, any wave bullish, um, psychologically, it's safer. And this is my finding uh, based on my previous nine years of trading experience. Before, I was watching the graph on the MT5 or MT4 back then. I was seeing kind of spiky up and down. And one single trade can, you know, becomes big profit. And the next one becomes down, like, uh, you know, one third down. And then next one can be break even. Next one can be down. And then uh, in the next trade could be bullish, make profit like this. And then uh, on the next trade, I might, you know, uh, lose a lot. And uh, overall can be negative in this way. So if you, you can look back your own trade performance, you can actually uh, get this uh, report on MT4, MT5, or uh, you can ask your broker to get the report, and uh, you can watch the graph. And make sure your graph looks like this end wave, bullish. And then you should be safer psychologically, and also you can make profit in the long run in this way. So um, yeah, so here is how I backtest basically. So I use the Forex tester. So this is the Forex tester. And once again, if you don't know about the Forex tester, then please click on the below description and uh, you can find the link there. And uh, so this is the tester. And uh, usually when I backtest, like today, when the market's quiet, retracing, then uh, I take the, um, these uh, time frames. So on the right, let me try to fit this in the page. So uh, on the right, I place two different time frames. I put a uh, one time frame in the flower chart and below here I take one hour and on the left I take the five minute and simply run chart the candles one by one along the way. So uh, and when I backtest I usually don't switch time frames. I fix these three time frames and take 100 trays. And after 100 trays then I switch back to let's say in my strategy, I use either flower chart or the daily chart for the higher time frame. So I switch this one to the daily chart, daily time frame. And down here, I can switch down to, let's say, 30 minutes. And then take 5 minute chart for the entry edge. And then I backtest continuously. So uh, as I backtest, there is no emotion for me. Um, because, of course, this is backtesting, so I don't lose any money but uh, even I get some losses I just take straight 100 trades without any emotions like uh, because this is practice and uh, I want to see the result over time so let's say uh, after right after I start the back test I might have three consecutive losses or four consecutive losses but I don't really care because I have another 96 trades 
to take along the way. So these small losses or the you know exit timings, exit trades, I don't really care until I complete the 50 or 100 trades and then see the result over time. And as I backtest, I make sure to track all the records on the spreadsheet like this. I, I take numbers, uh, pair, name of the pair and date in time, buy or sell price, lot size and pips, the stop loss. And then when I exit, I input the exit, uh, exit, uh, this uh, price level. And uh, I track my records like this in the spreadsheet. But uh, if you don't have any spreadsheet like this, uh, it's okay because you can also get a report in the tester. You can go to um, hold on, where is it? You can go to Windows and go to click on the statistics, and you get these statistics statistics like this. So um, you can get the you know number of trades and also uh, max profit, losing profit, losing uh, trades and also pf will be here too and you get all these other information so technically you don't have to use a spreadsheet but uh make sure that um you keep trading until you complete the backtest is also the key because uh you know sometimes let's say when you start backtest and you lose five times first five times you lose and then you might stop already before i was doing that too i let's say Okay, I was very really excited to do back testing from scratch. And then I have these three, three uh, time frames, and uh, I set the back test, and I get let's say five or six trades lost the first time. And then okay, this strategy may not work, and I was changing, I changed to the new strategy or other strategy, and start all over again. But um, if I did it, then uh, you know I was always looking for the holy grail. And along the way, let's say I take um, 20 trades and like uh, 10 will be profit, 10 will be loss. And if I see the result, then I, I lo lose my motivation. I used to lose my motivation to do up to 50 or 100 because I thought uh, that will be break even, you know, uh, in the end. So that was my thinking. But now I don't think like that. I simply continue without looking at the progress of the profit numbers. I complete until 50 trades, until finishing 50 or 100 trades, and then look back my own trades. Then uh, see the result over time. So that's how I backtest in terms of mindset. So uh, and when you are not still used to backtest, it takes time. Let's say you go to let's say you watch charts you move the candles one by one like this and okay where is the entry chance i watch the daily in 30 minute or one hour down here and i keep watching the chart but uh, you know it takes time for me to trade and exit because i'm still new uh to backtest but uh you will get used to it for sure as you backtest more then you get used to backtesting, you get used to entry exit more, and this part is also very important. Uh, because so that when you actually see the real market, then you can decide quickly whether it's exit or entries. So um, yeah, in terms of getting used to your entries and exit and strategies, I think uh, backtesting is very effective. Um, so there will be no second rules, no second thoughts, and no second strategies. When you backtest, simply you know take one strategy and go through up to 50 trades at least, if possible, go up to 100 trades, and then look back your own performance is the very key. And once again, the ideal result you have to find is this N wave bullish on the graph. Then you should be fine. And also the profit factor should be above three. Between three to five, you can achieve. Then you should be safe in the real market. So that's uh, my little advice in terms of the backtest. So I hope uh, you continue to practice your strategy, and also uh, you know never give up is a key to success. Uh, you know there are many tools out there, and I'm here to help you 
in YouTube and uh, my services uh, to improve your trades over time. Uh, Ichimoku and also price action helps me a lot uh, in terms of uh, you know cultivating my confidence and also backtest really uh, you know uh, gives you confidence over time also. So I'm here to help you also. So uh, let's uh, you know not give up until you become a non-losing trader like this. So uh, thank you for watching until the end on this video and uh, I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, everyone. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.